Imagine stepping into your backyard and into a lush paradise with lush greenery, vibrant blooms, into a landscape that not only enhances your home, but also withstands the challenges of the Florida climate. Today, we're going to dive into the art and science of Florida landscaping because I'm going to be talking to a Florida landscape expert. My name is Amanda Bolwell, a realtor with HomesAnytime.com. And as this part of my series, All About Your Home, we're talking landscaping. Today, I'm joined by Jason Duffney, a landscape expert with Earthworks Landscape and Design. Jason, thank you so much for talking to me today. Thank you, yeah, Ple pleasure to be here. Good, all right, so um, if I were a customer and came to you and said, oh, I need to redo my landscape, can you come and take a look at my home and tell me what to do? Tell me the process. So um, our process is a little different because we like to hold our customers' hands as much as possible. So we like for a customer um, to be able to come to us, start a consultation. So we start that process by going to your home. Okay. We come out to your home. We meet with you. We spend anywhere between an hour, two hours. I've even spent three or four hours in some situations Perfect. depending on the, you know, the, the project. After that, um, what's a little different with us is we have you come back somewhere between two and four weeks later mm -hmm. to our garden center, which we're at right now. Okay. Um, and the reason for that is we want to present our design in person, of course. And instead of at your home, we'd like to do it here because we can walk. As, you, as you've seen, we have hundreds and hundreds Gorgeous. and thousands of plants. Gorgeous. So yes. we can show them almost everything they're going to get in their yard so they can touch, feel, mm -hmm. and then they know what they're getting. Instead of these pictures from Google and little symbols on a plan, right. they can actually like see it. Cause that's the hardest thing. Landscaping is kind of like a piece of artwork that you don't know what you're gonna get mm -hmm. at the end of it, mm -hmm. right? So the more we can explain, educate, and we do all that here. Okay. Um, once we've done that process, then the customer signs up with us. Um, they put a deposit down and then starts the process of going through city, HOAs, all that. Fun okay, stuff. all right. Mm -hmm. And then if they were gonna redo a complete landscape, um, from the time that you actually start work, how long would you say is the timeline to completion? So that can vary on depending on the project. If somebody just wants to um, freshen up and sod their front yard mm -hmm. pretty quickly, I mean, we can meet with you and then usually we're out there six to eight weeks later doing a small project like that. But our, our, our bread and butter are customers that want to like really redo their yard. They, they have okay. a dream that they want to put in place. Okay. They yes. want that patio, they want some outdoor lighting. That takes a little bit more time to design. And then uh, the table of actually getting through HOAs and so on and so forth. So those kind of projects, which are bread and butter, usually is a three month turnaround, okay. roughly, somewhere around there. And then depending on the business mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. of our schedule. Yeah, time frame. Yep. Um, during the year, I'm sure there's peak times and there's slower times. Yes. Um, are there any particular plants or trees that you would recommend, particularly in this Florida climate where everything is so hot and harsh? Is there anything in particular that you would recommend to homeowners? Yeah, I mean, most certainly. So, okay, so the easiest thing to say is everybody should go native, right? Okay. That's the easiest thing to say, but it's kind of, in my sense, it's kind of a little bit of a cop out. There are so many plants, right? Okay. What I actually really love is go Florida friendly. Florida friendly is a blend of using natives and things that almost work like a native in our environment. So there was a pretty long list. I don't know if later on it'd be helpful if you wanted to put it up. Uh, we could probably send you kind of our generic list that we almost start with okay. as like, a, you know, as a painter, you have a palette, you have yes. your, your paints and things like that. So we start with this list we're always looking at okay. and thinking, oh, that's great. And then we walk the nursery and find some more things, but there, there's definitely it, but I mean, it's okay. easily a hundred plants All right. that we'd recommend. Well, if we could create a list, what I'll do is I will put a link in the description below and that way you can link to the list um, that Jason's suggesting. So um, as a homeowner, if they are planning to sell, a real estate agent would always say to them, we need curb appeal. We need to spruce this up. We need to make the front of your home really attractive. What are some cost effective things that a, just a regular homeowner can do in order to make the house a little more attractive to potential buyers? Understood. So um, I, okay, so I dream big. I have lots of ideas and things like that. But when it comes to curb appeal, um, sometimes it's not about the dream. If you're mm -hmm. trying to sell the home, really the most easy and most basic thing is just have a good looking lawn, okay. even if it's just fresh. So it is the, 
Like I hate it because it's the most boring thing yeah. of my career is putting just sod down, but it is what, it'll impact. make it pop. Oh, it'll impact because if you okay. have weeds in the lawn or it just doesn't look great, that number one is like hot okay, seller. Okay, that's good. Yeah, good and just know. don't have weeds. In your, so the most cost effective in that is just making sure fresh mulch, sod down, and that's what's gonna present to okay. most of your customers. Because okay. most of these people that move into these homes, I feel like, they hire us right away because now they want to implement the dream. Mm -hmm. So sometimes not going too crazy mm -hmm. is the best bet. Okay, all right. And then once you've re-landscaped a whole home, um, what are some suggestions that you can give the homeowner to maintain that, to keep it up and, and keep it looking fresh and yep. um, vibrant? So um, what's interesting about our company is we design, then we landscape it. We even maintain it afterwards. So we actually cut lawns. We fertilize, we spray for insects, and then we have the garden center. So every facet, we sit here and we tell customers how to ha handle it themselves, or we come out and do it. So um, my favorite thing, my favorite piece of advice to give to most people mm -hmm. is there's a really great product out there um, that we sell in the nursery, of course, but you can get it pretty much anywhere um, that has organics built into the soil. Okay. So we do this really cool program for like maintaining lawns where we aerate the soil and then we broadcast this material. It's a topsoil looking material, but it has a bacteria and a mycorrhizae, a beneficial fungus that are built into the soil that you're adding organics. And what that does is it allows like my team to not have to use as many chemicals throughout the year mm -hmm. because you're building the soil. And yeah. so um, that is my number one always recommendation because it really starts you off with a really great success successful lawn, mm -hmm. the base. And so it's a lot easier throughout the year. Um, that, that's my one, I guess my one tip. Okay, yeah. all right. So landscaping isn't a matter of just putting some plants in, put a fountain in. It's really an art and there's a science to it too because you've got to understand the soil and understand what makes up yep. um, the... Okay, right, excellent. And then finally, are there any current trends um, that, that landscapers are, are looking at now? Is it uh, water features? Is it putting in a koi pond? Or is there anything that's kind of trending now? Yep, and so um, we at Earthworks really specialize in doing the water features. So, you know, I might be getting veered off a little bit because I think we kind of get sucked down this alley because people love our water features. Yes. So yes, for sure, in the water feature industry trend-wise, um, we're seeing more and more people wanting to do swim ponds. Oh. I absolutely love these, so oh, recreational ponds. interesting, yeah. Yep. So we just got done with one, uh, a 12-year-old customer of ours that we've done three water features for, and the last one was his permanent swim pond is house. Okay. So I'm, okay. I'm really looking forward to football season and having um, some ribs <laughs> or something with him at his house because it is it's like a it's like a uh, uh, resort in his backyard. Wonderful. So that's one of those trends. Um, but it is it is kind of a costly one. Um, but water features in general, just because of people learning more and more about the benefits, health benefits it has to actually have water features on your property, mm -hmm. um, th just the health benefits you get from being around them. Okay, all right. Well, Earthworks sounds like a very innovative landscaping company, and it's definitely worthwhile coming to take a look at their property because there are so many options, so many things that you can put into your um, backyard to make it individual. Um, thank you very, very much for this interview. I really appreciate it. It's been so inspirational. Yeah, you ask good questions too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thanks very much. Yep. And we're out. <laughs>